Thank you, Angela. Up next, we have Samuel Frimpong with Promoting the Other Half, Positive Mental Health. You know that we all have negative mental health. So why are we all not mentally ill? That's because our negative mental health is low and our positive mental health is high. Sadly, this is not so for many youth who in search of a livelihood engage in construction work because their work constantly exposes them to conditions that increase negative mental health and drastically reduce positive mental health. Young construction workers all over the world have an abnormally high prevalence of mental illness. If mental well-being is achievable through, if mental well-being is achievable through a combination of low negative mental health and high positive mental health, how do you think we can help young construction workers by reducing their negative mental health and increasing their positive mental health? As shown, sadly, this has not been so. Because we view mental health as a disease, our interest has been to reduce the negative aspects of mental, mental health, for example, depression, while neglecting the promotion of the other half, positive mental health. When I say young construction workers, I mean those from the global south or lower and middle income countries who are aged 18 to 35 years. Our case is supposed to be special because it's top of the global mental health agenda and we are a key source of labor for developed countries. The truth though is we have the highest burden of poor mental health because current mental health care practices don't fit our background. I want to change that. My research therefore focuses on understanding how to promote positive mental health among young construction workers from the global south. I began by trying to understand what positive mental health means to this group. Through interviews and group discussions with some of them, I obtained over 50 different meanings. Next, I compared my findings with prevailing meanings of positive mental health. Three aspects were common. Good feelings, emotional health. Personal progress, psychological health. Social progress, social health. Mine though had one unique aspect, connection with nature and the supernatural, spiritual health. Now I know what positive mental health means to someone from the global south. What next? I next have to identify specific actions that increase all four aspects of young construction workers' positive mental health when they are exposed to workplace mental health risks. I'll do so soon through a large survey, analyze the data, and assemble the findings into a Global South-specific framework. This, when implemented in the future, will ensure that for millions of youth worldwide, construction work will be a source of livelihood and not a cause of mental illness. Thank you. <laughs> 